Joining us now, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, Fox News national security strategist, former strategist to President Trump, author of the new book, Why We Fight. And <laughs> I, Seb, I've got to say, uh, Whoopi was, you know, she was tested beyond her limits uh, there by the judge. Uh, Janine uh, having, uh, <laughs> not backing off one ounce. Uh, good for the judge. Yeah, don't get into an argument with Judge Janine Pirro. That's okay, my I'm recommendation. I'm going to do that. That was the thing I was worried about <laughs> happening. Um, but, you know, TDS used to be a joke. Trump derangement syndrome used to be a conservative joke. Uh, Lou, it's real. We just saw it. And, and what your viewers may not know, uh, because Judge Janine just revealed it uh, earlier today, after the segment was taped or aired, um, Whoopi Goldberg went insane. She used foul mouth language I can't repeat mm -hmm. on television and Not told on this Janine show you to cannot. get. No, and told her to get out of the beep building and just absolutely was unhinged. Yeah. And it's, it's the left in a nutshell, Lou. Yeah, well, the program does what I guess it's designed to do. Uh, which takes, uh, makes itself as outrageous as imaginable, uh, even by the left, uh, the leftist standards. Uh, it, it's re it's truly remarkable of what is happening. Uh, your thoughts about uh, this, the, the second phase of outrage on the part of the uh, the esteemed national left wing media. Now that uh, President uh, Trump has revealed that he is uh, laying the foundation for a second. Uh, uh, Trump uh, Putin summit. Well, Lou, I, I think you know my family background. There's no love lost between me and former KGB colonels. My father, having been arrested, tortured, him, and imprisoned by communist secret police officers. But I have to say, this is a master stroke. This is the president pressing exactly the right buttons he needs to press to make make heads explode in the fake news industrial complex. Um, this is an important country because it spans 11 time zones, has nuclear weapons, has a veto seat on the UN Security Council. Vladimir Putin is a bad actor. He's destabilizing numerous parts of the world. But the president, as the most powerful man in the world, can meet with whoever he wants to meet as regularly as as he wishes to do so, because guess what? He won the election. Sorry, I didn't say guess what. Uh, he, he won the election. Why didn't you say guess what? <laughs> I know I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. You know, it, it ruined the, the, the narrative there because we weren't sure. I was on a roll. Then, the, I, I was on a roll. Oh, it's terrific. I, I, I just find right now what uh, this president has to put up with. From the ignorance of the left in this country is 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 uh, proportions that we've never seen. Uh, this is a man who should be getting credit from the very people, uh, whether they be Democrats, whether they be the national left wing media, whether they be the Republican establishment or Democratic establishment, and the globalist elites. Look what he's doing for the global economy. Look what he is doing for the American economy that is driving that global. Growth. The International Monetary Fund coming out with new projections. Uh, you know, their projections are, I, I will admit, historically wide of the mark, uh, often and uh, perhaps usually. But I agree with them. I, I mean, the strength of the the U.S. economy is going to drive the global economy for years because of this president's commitment to deregulation, to cutting taxes, to creating. Uh, initiatives uh, that uh, that this free enterprise economy thrives on, uh, and and you, we have people suddenly saying, you know, he's he's being too nice to Vladimir Putin. Why didn't they say he was being too nice to Xi Jinping? Why didn't they say to Kim uh, Jong Un? Uh, you know, it, it's it's uh, it's as if the national left wing media has married neocons. Uh, and uh, their their coverage is the fruit of the union. And and Lou, in the history of diplomacy, 
no head of state has actively insulted another head of state standing next to him. Kennedy didn't do it to Khrushchev. Nixon didn't do it. Reagan didn't do it. Nobody does it. And, and the expectation of the left is an artificial one. And we, we know, well, we know just, Russia. Let me just ask you. I mean, Go ahead. I don't think that the President Trump said uh, Rocket Man is a compliment uh, when referring to Kim Jong-un. But not, not with him standing next to him. I mean, this is what they expected in the press. So they won't do it face so to face, the, but, but behind their backs. Is that the idea? I, I, one of the things I admire about President Trump is he'll, he'll take care of it face to face if that's the way he feels. Uh, it's an important signal that this president is trying to build bridges uh, rather than uh, pursuing a, a collision uh, with military, uh, with unfortunate military results. I, I think he should be credited, don't you? I, I think the most telling thing of all is that the left-wing media hadn't had a problem with Russian so-called interference in anybody's election for 70 years, and now they do. The only reason they have a problem with it now is because Donald Trump won the election. So it's all artificial. And, mm -hmm. and to your point of giving him credit. Uh, we expect the left to try and hammer this man for eight years. That's what they're going to do. But my big problem is that the Republicans don't stand up for this man. That there's half a dozen people on Although, Capitol Hill. Yeah, you know who they. I mean, and that's it. Yeah. Yes, we know who they are. You know, let, let's you know, name names. You're talking about the arrayed forces of the Chamber of Commerce, the Business Roundtable, the Koch brothers, Wall Street, the Bush, uh, and, and the what? The former Bush, uh, uh, the Bush uh, whole uh, clique, yeah, yes, I, well, and, right, and the Clinton clan and a, and a, and a few other clans. Uh, a dynastic politics uh, is to me a, a non should be a non-starter in this country, uh, but no one sometimes consults me on these things. Dr. Sebastian <laughs> Gorka, we're always delighted. They're to watching you. you. They're watching you. Thank Appreciate you, Lou. God bless. Thanks so much. You too. Joy has the day off. Megan is visiting her family. And back to guest co-host, please welcome conservative commentator Tara Sutmeyer. Hey, Tara! So, unless you were under a rock yesterday, you know all about Jeanine Pirro's uh, appearance here on the show. Now, things got hot on the air, which you expect. That happens a lot. But I want to clear up what happened Afterwards, because she talked about it on Fox News last night and Fox and Friends this morning or The Five or whatever it is. But she seemed to leave out some key points because, so, well, she left a lot of pertinent stuff out. And there were a lot of people backstage, and I want to be very clear about what happened. So there's a lot of spin that she's doing, and I can't do anything about that, but I can tell you what went on. She was upset when she got here because Anna Navarro was here instead of Joy. And after the segment, which ended when it was supposed to, it was not early, it was not late, it ended when it was supposed to, she then called everybody at the table a name I cannot repeat on TV and said it in front of the audience. When I came off stage, I went over there because I was a little hot, okay, so I went to calm down. She came off, she could have just passed me. She didn't need to stop, but she stopped and put her finger in my face and yelled, I've done more for victims than you ever will. Then I said to her some few choice words I cannot repeat. <laughs> yes, I did say it. I did say it. But I did not spit on her. I did not intimidate her. No one chased her out of here. But she did leave here cursing at the people who booked the show. She cursed at the guys who do the security for the show. So I did say to her in the middle of all this, you and I have never had a problem before. You know, and then I had to go back to work to finish the show, which should tell you none of us were chasing her because we still had another segment to do. So for 20 years, the show has always had people on with different views, like Newt Gingrich, Corey Lewandowski, Charlotte Pence, Sarah Sanders, Trey Gowdy, Dana Perino, Jenna and Barbara Bush, Janine, good luck with your book. 
I hear it's number one. I preferred your last book about Robert Durst, but there's no accounting for taste, you know? I like the book. I like the last book. So that's what happened, and I suspect this is going to go on because she has a show on Saturday and stuff. But look, you can come to this show. We treat everybody with respect. But you cannot come and call people names. You cannot point at people, and you can't do this to people. And people who know Janine know exactly what I'm talking about. They know that she likes to stir it up. I rarely get stirred up, but I got stirred up yesterday. I did apologize for getting hot. I said it doesn't happen often. Every 10 years, it seems. <laughs> so, moving on.